I've been thinking about what the next subject should be. I've done a few calculations and I thought we should do footwear, walking, tacky mats or polymeric flooring. Which is best? Why do we use what we use? Let's go and have a look. Hello, it's nice to be back with you and today's subject is about removing contamination from the soles of the feet, entering the clean room, entering changing rooms, um, looking at the differences between tacky mats and polymeric flooring, or that's products like, uh, like Dysem flooring. Okay, so let's get on to the uh, presentation. Called this one, uh, Little Steps. Um, and we shall see why. Okay, so um, one way to reduce the level of contamination entering clean rooms for moving in materials or for people is to use special flooring. And this type of flooring is either in the form of temporary, like the removable tacky mats, or permanent mats. And permanent mats are generally superior to the tacky mats. And these kind of mats are designed to remove um, a number of visible and sub-visible particulates and therefore to reduce the likelihood of the transfer of contamination and also to minimise the associated risk of dispersal of contaminants um, because as they adhere to the surface of the material they can't be so easily flung back up into the, into the air. Okay. Um, so you can see some really <laughs> dirty tacky mats on the slide there so that's the kind of thing we don't want to be seeing in um, in clean rooms um, but it, as it stands that the the interfaces between classified clean rooms or changing rooms and unclassified areas or CNC areas are particularly vulnerable areas so it's typical within pharmaceutical facilities to have mats um, situated in these areas and we need to be particularly mindful that environments like changing rooms or other areas where there's a high personnel presence and throughput are arguably more prone to the transfer of contamination um, than other areas so we want to try and reduce that level of contamination going into those areas because this also means that we're reducing contamination going into process areas as well well okay so now we've got a graph and on this graph we've got um, just showing the kind of relative risk of tacky mats um, which is why um, it's preferable to use the Dyson polymeric flooring and this is because when you peel away the top layer to replace it with another layer this tends to generate high levels of airborne particles and the data on the screen is um, data that I, I've actually compiled from a study where I've done particle counting and where I've looked at the dispersion of particles in the air so um, you can see the relative risks there. Okay so what about polymeric flooring? Well polymeric flooring is a polymeric surface that's manufactured from a type of non-toxic plasticized material and with the polymeric molecules these decrease the surface receptivity of the material and this means that um, the, um, there's a non-conductive substrate surface which means that the um, mat remains permanently tacky so it's always going to adhere particles from one surface like the shoe to another one. So the flooring is designed to retain particulate contamination that could be viable microorganisms or other forms of particles that come into the surface and this is because there's electrostatic forces that are binding particles to the surface. So the function of a Dyson flooring or polymeric flooring is to attract particles to the surface and then to retain those for long periods of time until they can be removed by cleaning so it's actually obviously very good practice to apply a detergent um, regularly um, to remove the captured particles and here you can see again data that um, I've compiled which is about looking at mats one to six which are different types of tacky mat 
compared with um, polymeric flooring, both older polymeric flooring and newer polymeric flooring. And those bars are higher because they're attracting more particles. OK, but when we're using this kind of flooring, it's important to take a good number of steps. So the number of steps taken onto, the, onto a polymeric flooring is a factor for particle removal. So with any piece of disembled polymeric flooring, it's always important to take four steps. If you're taking fewer than four steps, it's never going to be effective, which is why uh, you never want to have like small pieces of, 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 of the polymeric flooring. You want to have it of a reasonable size so you can take those steps across. A further variable is to make sure that you're putting down like sufficient pressure and weight. You're not doing little light steps. You're going boof, boof, boof. So you're actually getting a good chance of getting those um, particles off. And you want to have um, ideally <clears throat> fairly smooth sold shoes rather than shoes with ridges. So more kind of ideal clean room shoes as well is important. Um, but of course there's no one solution to contamination control so although the polymeric flooring is of great importance obviously we need to make sure we also have functioning HVAC systems, good cleaning and disinfection, um, control of numbers of people going into changing areas and occupancy levels for clean rooms and also making sure we're wearing the right kind of clothing as well. So there's always different factors that um, go into clean room control and the um, flooring control is just one of those factors. So thank you for watching. This video was about tacky mats and polymeric flooring. I'm Tim Sandal. Till next time, goodbye bye.